Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Saif Islam, CEO of English Language Center Bangladesh and today we are going to learn a very important topic that is question text. And today's video is for junior students, our junior batches students and today we are going to learn tag questions. So remember what is question text? Question text means the questions, texts are the short questions that we put on the end of our sentence or sentences. So let's see what is this suppose we are writing he is a boy in this sentence at the end of a sentence we add a short question suppose like that with isn't he so this is isn't he right so he is a boy we add in our short questions at the end of a sentence that is isn't he and it's so isn't he is question tag okay so now let's practice today so question tag has some formula the first formula is that if we want to learn question tag so we have to see first of all what is the sentence about if the sentence is about positive sentence if the sentence is positive remember that we have to make the question negative interrogative okay if the sentence is again i'm saying in the, if the main part of a sentence is positive then question tag is negative i mean negative interrogative so let's see one example he is a doctor the sentence is positive right so now see he is a boy the sentence is positive so we have to make your questions negative interrogative and we have to remember all the time that in tag questions pronoun pronoun will be used as subject suppose if i get here sadia right if i get here sadia it is, it is a girl name it's a girl's name but remember that for sadia you have to use she so if i use the boy the boy we have to use here he so remember that in tag questions we have to use all time pronoun as subject so that's why now see he is a doctor in this sentence we have used what is auxiliary here is uh, so we have used isn't he and next one sentence you won't work in a bank to a bank you want you work in a bank in this sentence see it is a positive sentence so here no auxiliary verb so we know that it is present in different tense that's why we have to check here do or does but see in this sentence you work so we have to take here do so not motion is done to you so this is the first rule if the sentence is positive we have to make negative interrogative tag questions so now see let's next one next rule next rule is that if the sentence is the main part of a sentence is negative but remember we have to make the question tag positive interrogative let's see if the main part of a sentence is negative then the question tag is positive so see you haven't met him it, this sentence is negative right so that's we have to make it positive interrogative so now see have you we have my questions here have you now next sentence she isn't coming so in this sentence it is also negative sentence that's why we are taking is as auxiliary and subject is she that's why taking is she is she are you clear guys again i am saying if the sentence is positive we have to make it negative interrogative tag questions and if the sentence is negative we have to make it positive interrogative so so now we have to solve something now see we have to remember one thing that how the tag questions be from it so that question should be from like that if there is am not we have to use aren't or ain't i you have to use aren't or ain't i if the sentence is is not we have to use isn't if the sentence is are not we have to use aren't if do not don't does not doesn't did not didn't was not wasn't were not weren't shall not shan't would not wouldn't should not shouldn't could not couldn't may not mayn't might not mightn't had not hadn't must not mustn't need not needn't and ought not oughtn't got it so these are the format how to make it tag questions into negative interrogative these are the auxiliaries we have to use and tag questions so now let's do some exercises section one so in the first sentence see 
Bush is crying. In this sentence, one is done for you, isn't she? Okay, so now let's solve the other six. First sentence, Shakil was a liar, please solve it. And second one, the Shafi is reading, solve it. Sachin and Shevak were studying English. And second one, there are many students in this school. And the last one, I am a good player. Please solve it. Okay, now let's solve section 2. Section 2 is use of have, has, had. We have to solve this also. Tamim has, a bought, has, a, Tamim has bought a bat. In this tag question will be has in he. Because Tamim is a boy, that's why we are using the pronoun as subject. Next one, Sabiha had a sharp look. Please solve it. And next one is he had gone there or he would gone there or he had gone there. And Hamza has got a job. Solve it please. And next one, he helped Rajiv. And the last one, I have bought a book. Please solve this all. Last one, we play cricket. So see if the sentence doesn't have any auxiliary, then we have to see the verb is verb 2 or verb 1. If the verb is verb 1, we have to use do or does. Does will be used for he, she, it and one name and do will be used I, we, you, they. I mean the third person plural or second person or first person so we can use do. So now see, we play cricket. In this sentence, we play. We subject but subject is what? First person, this we use don't we and they catch fish, it, it will be what? Please you solve yourself and he reads in this school. Remember, he reads, it is third person singular, so verb does. So please solve it. Next one, you bought a nice shirt. In this sentence, bought is verb two. So please solve it carefully. And then next one, Reza earn a very little money. Please solve it here and say remember the earn is verb two. So remember the auxiliary verb will be what? And last one, he invited us in this sentence. We invite also verb to please solve carefully. And the next one is Rajiv and Saji play football. Please solve this all. As we have solved our previous one, right? So now let's see the basic rule two. We have learned the basic rule one and two. What was the basic rule one? Basic rule one was if the sentence is positive, we have to make it negative interrogative, right? And the second one was if the sentence is negative, we have to make it positive interrogative. So now let's see the basic rule number three, how to solve it. Basic rule number three, we are talking about imperative sentence, okay? So remember that in imperative sentence, the sentence if the sentence is positive, then we have to use will not, I mean want, want we have to use, and subject will be all time you, so want you, okay? And if the sentence is positive, we have to use will you. But remember, in modern time, we can use for positive or for negative imperative sentence, we have to use all time will you, we will not use want you, okay? So this is I am talking about, in imperative sentence, says question tag, will be want you or will you is used. Remember again in imperative sentences question tag want you or will you is used. So remember another rule that if the, uh, if the sentence starts with let us or let's, let us or let's, it's a proposal remember that. So if let us, if, uh, imp if an imperative sentence starts with let us or let's, Remember that we have to use the shall we. We have to use shall we. Remember, we have to use what? Shall we. So now see, go to school. Obviously, it's an imperative sentence we are using. Go to school. There is no subject. So we know that in imperative sentence, you is subject, right? In imperative sentence, all time you is subject. There, that's why go to school, we are saying want you. And all we can say, will you. Or we can say, will you. Remember, I said I said you first time that in imperative sentence we can use for positive or negative will you no problem and second sentence John come here obviously this, this is imperative negative sentence that's why we are using will you will you will you okay the last one let's drink <coughs> sorry let's drink tea let's drink tea this see this is a proposal sentence right also it is imperative sentence so we start it, it starts with let's so we know if the sentence starts with let's or let us, we have to use 
shall right so now see shall we so let's drink tea we have used shall we because why there is we you are thinking right so let let's means let us it means what let us and us is the objective form of we that's why we are using we a, as subject that's why it shall be not <laughs> shall you remember it okay as we have learned the rule in imperative sentence right that if the sentence is positive or negative we can use will you but if the sentence starts with let's or let us we can use shall we right so now let's solve open the door open the door the, the, this sentence is done for you will you why we can use will you as i said will you or we can use want to you next sentence don't forget me this imperative sentence why will you let's go out for our walk in this sentence let's go it's a proposal and it, it starts with imperative sentence that's a uh, sorry in it starts with let us like or let's that's why we're using shall we so uh, others you have to solve it solve yourself so now please see the first sentence give me a cup of tea this sentence is imperative but please solve it next one let's do the work please you have to solve it and the next one write a letter you have to solve it and the last and the next one let's have a picnic please solve it don't forget me you have to solve it and next one shut the door and the last sentence let us go home okay you have to solve this all please i'm waiting for your response okay students as we have finished rule one rule two and rule three so let's solve today rule number four basic rule right this is a critical one remember if a sentence starts with someone somebody no one nobody anyone anybody everyone everybody right then remember in this time the subject will be obviously they subject will be what they subject will be what they and verb will be plural verb probably what said plural singular verb means what has is was is a singular verb does the singular verb we call but plural verb means do have are where so if we get in the sentence somebody anybody nobody everybody no one none each every neither then remember we have to use the subject as they and the verb will be plural clear so now let's see one sentence everyone has come everyone has come we got here everyone so if you subject what they and the verb will be what plural but then it's has right can you use has here obviously no because has is singular so if you use what have so now see haven't they why there is haven't they why is negative can you think yes i think you can think right because everyone has come this and this is positive that's why we have to make it negative integrated that's why haven't they haven't they are you clear guys are you clear if not clear please tell me again now let's solve some sentences have as you have understood so you have to solve something okay so now see nobody called me didn't they we have to solve everybody loved me didn't they okay now please solve this one everything is ruined everybody knows it nobody helped me somebody teased me everybody comes here can you solve sir okay i'm just giving some clue here there are some problems if the sentence is to nobody right nobody is negative remember that the sentence will be positive interrogative okay Okay guys as we have solved basic rule 1 2 3 4 and now let's solve basic rule 5 basic rule 5 is very important for us because basic rule 5 is saying something that we have learned first basic rule 1 and 2 right if the sentence is positive we have to make it negative interrogative and if the sentence is negative we have to make it positive interrogative right 
So now basic rule 5 is saying something more interesting and that is if a sentence has some negative words or negative phrases remember that that time we have to use the subject is and tag question is how we have to use that time the tag questions in negative interrogative not we have to use positive interrogative we have to use again i am saying we have to use positive interrogative suppose see if the statement contains words negative i mean if the contains negative word it contains in meaning such as no no one nothing nobody then rarely barely hardly okay that ever never n neither seldom little few under no circumstances if we get these words remember that these words or this phrase contains negative meanings that's why you have to use the question tag positive interrogative okay that's why we are saying that it will be followed by an affirmative or positive tag how now see he hardly does any work he hardly does any work we have got here the word hard, hardly right so hardly is giving negative meaning that's why we have to use does he you have to use what does he and the next sentence he is seldom absent in this sentence we have got seldom the sentence is giving negative meaning that's why we have to use is he so have you got it sir as we have learned the rule of basic rule 5 now let's solve it first one is nobody called me in this sentence we've got nobody there's a sentence is giving negative meaning right so now let's why solve it did they it will be did they why there is they because we know if there is nobody then the subject will be what they that's why the problem okay nothing is ruined please solve it no one knows it you have to solve yourself he really helped me you have to solve he hardly teased me you have to solve also this one because there is hardly there is rarely negative meaning. remember and the last one the neighbor come here in this sentence also neighbor right so negative meaning right please solve it i'm waiting for your response okay my students we have solved question basic rule one basic rule two basic rule three basic rule four and basic rule five right so now we have to solve again basic rule six basic rule six is saying if there is some words or some phrases like that everything nothing something anything right that means something nothing anything everything if we get this type of sentences is the subject is this one everything nothing anything then remember in this in this time in the tag question in the tag question the subject will be it subject will be what it so now let's see everything is ready everything is ready so in this sentence everything is subject right so you have to make subject as it so there's a c isn't it isn't it got it next one nothing has the end nothing has the end in the sense subject is what nothing that's why you have to use has it has it are you clear sir okay please solve it everything is fine in this sentence everything is subject please solve it and next one nothing has the end you have to solve it but remember nothing is negative remember it and next one everything has the power solve it and the last one everything is ready please solve i'm waiting for your positive response Mary students as we have learned basic rule 1 2 3 4 5 6 so now let's solve let's solve basic rule 7 number right 7 number we we will learn a new thing that if a sentence subject is these or that these or those then what we will how we will make it tag question remember that if a sen sentence has this and that again i am saying this and that that we have to use in tag question the subject will be it subject will be what sir it subject will be what it subject will be what it and next one if sentence subject is these or those remember subject will be what they subject will be what they this is the basic rule number seven now see when we are looking at the screen when the subject of a statement is that or this then the pronoun in the tag question is it 
but when the subject is these or those then a pronoun will be then a pronoun is they pronoun is they remember it okay don't forget it if the subject is what these or that then in tag question the subject will be it but if the sentence subject is these or those but remember that that time tag question subject will be they so now let's solve that was a big surprise that was a big surprise in sentence that is subject right so to use it wasn't it why this wasn't we know because the sentence is positive interrogative that's why we have to solve wasn't it the last one see these aren't yours in this sentence this is negative that's why as subject is what these that's why it will be are they it will be what sir are they so are you clear the rules sir rule number seven are you clear in rule number seven you're clear so they have to solve something section number seven you have to solve it see in this sentence given that is nice subject is what that please solve it those were new subject is what those next one this is my cat subject is what this solve yourself next one these are their tools please solve it because subject is these solve please i am waiting for you positive response okay students no more today please learn from rule number one two three four five six seven and hope you will study well and please don't panic don't be panicked please study seriously inshallah hope we will meet next class